from the craft room. Um, it's uh, a Monday morning, it's the 17th of June, and I thought I'd show you my make so far for June, because um, I've been quite busy. Um, I bought um, some fabric, which I think I've, um, if you look back, you'll see there's a tutorial on how to make this. It's um, a map for you putting your sewing machine or your overlocker on, and it has all your bits and pieces like scissors and any other bits and pieces you want to store in here. And um, it just rests it on nicely on there. It's a bit of soundproofing. And originally the idea was that I'd use it for iron and pressing odd bits as well. So I made this and um, as my sewing machine was bigger, I ended up using this underneath the sewing machine. Um, but yes, if you want to see the full tutorial on how to make it, it one of my previous um, vlogs. I'm not sure if it's the one before or not. Um, so yes, I made that. I was so happy with that, but I found it a right pain moving the machines on and off between them. So then I decided to make a slightly smaller one here, which um, I was going to use for the overlocker. And these are made, this one is made out of fat quarters. So um, I had um, two packets of fat quarters exactly the same but I think actually this is just one fat quarter because our fat quarters in the UK are slightly bigger I think than the American ones so um, there was plenty to do that and I backed it with the calico that I had from um, a quilt cover I bought um, from a charity shop so um, that was that and padded and then I found that it was so much hassle even though the machines had one each I found that it was hassle moving them off to do the pressing the um you know the makes as i go along so i then decided that i'd make one especially to use for ironing so that goes on the um worktop behind me which is normally where i have the changing mat for the little ones so then i can put the changing mat on top of this when i've got them um otherwise it's my pressing table or my cutting area so uh, yes i was well chuffed with that so that was and i've put um heat resistant wadding in there so uh so that's nice so that's my ironing mat um so that was three things i'd made i then um got on with the charity shop quilt cover transforming that and um i made uh, you might have seen in a previous video i made a bean bag cover i made a cushion cover I made a couple of drawstring bags another one there and I made the little safari shirt so um, for Ben so that was good uh, I then um, made watched on YouTube this lady who made these little bags and I thought they're amazing and they're from fat quarters so it's two fat quarters um, that complement each other, colours that complement each other. And you literally just fold it in half and you've got these little pockets at the front here and the back here. And of course you've, they're back so it's fully lined. And then that makes a little sort of um, either a gift bag or um, a wash bag or makeup bag, something for when you're on holiday or something. Um, or even like kids could have um, toys in there, you know, um, a few bits and pieces, jewellery. It's quite actually, yes, jewellery, you know, um, sort of costume jewellery, um, trinkets and be um, bangles and necklaces for when you go on holiday. Um, you can put that sort of stuff in there. So there's all sorts of uses. But yeah, that's a lovely um, bag. I might make another one um, and do a tutorial. I'll see. But um, yeah, that, that was good. And then I made, um, where is it? Yeah, then I made um, anniversary card for my son, which I'll insert some pictures in um, now. Uh, it was their fifth anniversary. And uh, so I made them a card, um, and, but I've given it to them now, so I can't show you, but I have got some photographs, so they'll be up there now. And also, it's my mum's 91st birthday. 
um, at the end of the month. So I made her a card and I don't know if you can see how nice that card is. And um, I also, to make it even better, I did some cross stitching and I did uh, a little flower cross stitch there and I put it inside the card because she'll probably keep the card up. So yeah, so that was uh, my mum's 91st birthday and that's on the 26th of June. So uh, that's good. So I made that and I made another card for my grandson, Ben, who's going to be two. And um, his birthday's on the 25th of June. So uh, yes, I made that for him. And uh, as you can see, there's some giraffes in there as well. He likes giraffes. So uh, yeah, so born to be wild. That's Ben's. So yeah, so I think that's it for now. Um, I have uh, two more birthdays coming up in July, but I haven't done those cards yet, so I'll show you next time. Ah, uh, oh, the most important bit. Most important bit, I made this dress. So um, I will insert a picture of the full, th full thing. It's um, some fabric I got from a charity shop and um, it's got these lovely little things here that draw it in. Um, it's got buttons, but I have found I can get it on and off without undoing the buttons, so don't really need them. So I think I might sew it down because I've had to put a pin in here because it gapes. Um, so I might sew that down. Uh, buttonholes didn't go too bad. I'm getting better at them. So I don't know if you can see there, I'm getting better at the buttonholes. It's fully lined with, the, uh, again, with that um, fabric from the quilt cover. So that was well worth it. Um, yeah, so this, and it's got princess seams down there, as you can see, slightly gathered. It's um, just below the knee, and I'll show you a picture. It is actually this pattern here that I got free with the magazine. Um, I think it was Simply So and um, I originally was going to make if I can find it originally was going to make this version but um, it did come up a little bit too short for me so I then went and put the extra frill on and made that version so it's that sort of length so um, yeah um, when I looked at the pattern sizes on the back for the bust I looked like I needed between an 18 and 20 so I cut out a 20 and then when I put it on the dummy, um, it was absolutely massive. Um, luckily, I just it was the pattern pieces I pinned on there. When I traced the pattern pieces of the 20, um, I put them on there and they looked massive. So I then retraced them size 16 and that's what I made up. But once I put the dress on, I realised that um, there was miles too much given it. So... Um, and it looked baggy underneath here. So I then re-put it on and I made it really tight to the dummy because the dummy is worked out to be my size. So I ended up taking an inch either side from underneath here. But because I'd lined it and everything, I had to undo all the overlocking down here so I could get to this area and redo it. So that was a bit of fluffing about, especially as that was um, Saturday night. And I wanted to wear it for Father's Day. So, um, but anyway, eventually um, I got it sorted. I'm very, I'm pleased with that. I, I like the neckline um, because I do sometimes catch the sun there and uh, blister a bit. So it's quite nice to have the high neckline to protect there. Um, I might take the frill off um, because that's originally the one I wanted. And my husband seems to think he likes the frill on the end. But I will put some pictures up of me wearing it so that you can see the full 
the full length of it. Um, but apart from that, it was a good make. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'd recommend that. But um, be wary of the sizes because I think it comes up really, really big. Um, but, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's my make so far. Um, I've got lots of plans for the rest of the month. I've got some material on order um, from the textile centre, um, some satins, and I plan to make some pyjamas, um, which I've got the pattern. Got the pattern half price from Hobbycraft, simplicity pattern, and I plan to make um, a dressing gown and some pyjamas. So that, that's um, something I want to get on and do next. I've got a tiny bit of fabric left of the um, quilt cover and I'm going to make some cushions for Ben. Um, and uh, I've got some fabric left of um, the camper vans and I'm going to make some cushions for our camper van. Um, and, uh, but I will probably will be making some other stuff as well and I've got some cards to make. So busy, busy. But uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you later. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.